Yes. Unemployment rate from 2018 to 2022 and also the youth unemployment rate. Well, let's start with the unemployment rate in Kenya. Where we're going to look at um, in 2022, the unemployment rate was 5.50%, which uh, explains almost... Um, 0.12% uh, if you compare it to 2021, which was 5.64%. Let us move also to the unemployment rate of 2020, which was 562 And that of 2020 explains a 1.4% increase from 2019, which was 5.01%. Let us look at the youth unemployment rate. And when we look at the youth unemployment rate, we're going to start with the youth unemployment rate in 2022. The youth unemployment rate in 2022, which was 13.35%, uh, and which is compared to, uh, when you look at the percentage, 0.14% from 2021, which in 2021 was 13.48%. Well, let us look at 2020, which was 13.83%, which explains a 0.61 increase from 2019, which was 5.01%. All right, now, these statistics are going to lead us into the conversation today where we are going to be talking to Dorcas Owino, who is the Managing Director of Zone 1 in Kisumu. Thank you so much for joining us on business today. Thank you for having me. All right, now, mm -hmm. we're looking at those statistics, mm -hmm. and we've, been, we've, we've seen some are declining, some are, some are increasing. But now, first of all, you, you're the Managing Director for Zone 1 in Kisumu. Mm. First of all, I believe you work with very many youths. Let us look at this Zone 1 mm. and even define what does it exactly mean and what do you usually do? Thank you, Calvin. Um, Zone Zero 01 Kisumu is a software development company that is based in Kisumu. Mm -hmm. So what we do is uh, hire software developers. But before we hire the software developers, they have to go through a very vigorous process where we have to detect the potential they have mm -hmm. because you know, uh, with the very high unemployment rate, people, people are grabbing jobs. So we have to detect if you have the talent. And then we take you through a vigorous four weeks interview process where we get to see if you're a, a, a good fit mm -hmm. for a, a company. Mm -hmm. Then thereafter, we hire you for five years. Mm -hmm. But before we hire you for five years, we give you the skills that you know, uh, are relevant. We upskill you. So that means you have, we have, we'll have, you'll have to go through a two-year induction pro program where you'll be given the skills uh, that align with what is in the industry today. Okay. Within those two years, you decide if you want to become a full-stack software developer, if you want to become a game developer, you want to get into blockchain, different uh, areas in software. Okay. And then thereafter, uh, we, you, you are now uh, ready to specialize in what field you want. But also through, through this process, we offer stipends because um, it, you know, we are upskilling you, we are telling you to be there full time. Mm -hmm. And when, you, when you're working with us, obviously you, you get paid a salary, okay. yes. All right, thank you so much for that. And now let's look at um, the whole idea of technology mm. and the, the statistics that we've seen. Mm. When it comes to um, technology, is it really bridging the gap of unemployment from where you sit and now that you're dealing with um, youths who are into the tech space? Technology is bridging the gap for youth unemployment because for me, technology promises, uh, gives us hope. Um, if you look at how uh, it's only, I think in tech, technology is one of the industries where you can sit here in Nairobi or somewhere in Kisumu, like where I come from, and be able to work for software development companies that mm -hmm. are in Berlin, in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And this really widens the pool of what you, are, you have access to. You don't only have access to employment within your uh, country, but beyond. And it's not theoretical for me. It's something that I've seen. Mm -hmm. I've seen uh, young people from Kisumu working for blue chip companies across, you know, across the continent mm -hmm. and across, you know, uh, in, in different countries. And really, it's, for me, yes, it does bridge employment. And beyond that, that goal, it also encourages innovation because you're not just exposed to looking for employment. You're also introduced to becoming an innovator. Mm -hmm. And when you're an in innovator, you produce products and services that not only serve you, but serve you know, uh, respond to challenges that affect Africa. Mm -hmm. So you then create employment for more 
uh, more people within your within your area. Okay. All right. And now uh, the program that you run is really interesting. When you look at um, the the interaction that is that that maybe uh, you have. Is it uh, available online? Can someone maybe who's in Nairobi be, uh, be able to access it uh, online and say, okay, I want to enroll, mm -hmm. but I want to do it online? The, um, our program has a very interesting and very unique pedagogy that encourages peer-to-peer -peer learning mm -hmm. and what we call collective intelligence. That means we believe that Calvin, you're intelligent, Dorcas is intelligent, but when we come together, then we put our intelligence together and we are able to produce even more and become even better. So because of that, uh, and also peer-to-peer -peer learning, we, we encourage that uh, we, we, encourage that we uh, anyone that is interested come to Kisumu. That's where our campus is based. Okay. So that you're able to, to be introduced or experience peer-to-peer -peer learning and collective intelligence. So physically. Physically present, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. The only thing that uh, you can do online is play our, our cognitive games. That's in the process of detection, where you play a 90 minutes co cognitive game, which is also very competitive. Mm -hmm. So out of, say, 100 people that might play the game, only 50 will be able to uh, get to a level that we require. Mm -hmm. So that's the only part that is online, but the rest is physical in Kisumu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, it, it's across maybe, you said five years? Yes, the whole thing is five years. Mm -hmm. We'll be with you two years induction, and then two years working on full-time projects. Okay, all right. So let's move on and look at another thing. When it comes to uh, the digital uh, growth, and now Kenya, everything is moving towards the digital mm -hmm. space. Mm -hmm. Uh, are we seeing a time where maybe in the, in the coming months or in the coming year we will get your platform online? Because I believe uh, if, if, if you want to reach many people, mm. especially uh, the way you've explained, and you want to reach very many people, and I, I believe very many youths would want to um, get in touch and, and just join this uh, kind of platform, mm. uh, don't you think it's really, really good to put it at least in the digital space? Yes, uh, it looks like it would be, from what from the outside, it looks like putting it online will attract more people. Mm -hmm. But then this is a pedagogy that has been tested in, across different countries in Europe, and it works best when it's physical. And we are also very cognizant of the fact that there are people who want to join us and they're not able to because of, you know, f distance. Okay. And so... Maybe in the near future, you'll be seeing Zone 01, Kisum, zone zero one Nairobi, <laughs> and maybe Zone 01, Mombasa. Yes. But right now, right now we, are only have, we only have it in Kisumu, and it's physical. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Let's look at another thing. Trying to uh, penetrate um, in the employment sector mm. and trying to uh, come up with ideas and say, okay, this is what I'm doing. I'm working for, for this kind of uh, tech, and this is the one that is going to sustain me. Mm. When it comes to the youths who want to join, mm. uh, what are some of the backgrounds they come from, especially in mm. terms of education, in terms of uh, the qualifications that they have? Uh, do we have people from even different um, um, lines of work who want to come into the tech space? Yes, um, so this, this company we are attracting anyone above the age of 18 who uh, will play our game. So the only requirement is that you are an, uh, an adult, obviously according to Kenya over 18, and you're able to commit the next five years to this, to this uh, company. Mm -hmm. But again, I'll, I'll, express, I'll stress that it, you have to play the online cognitive games and go through our four weeks inter intense interview process. We've had people who have switched careers from being, say, teachers. We have people who are in the medical uh, fields who, are, who have qualified and now want to switch careers and become you know, software developers or game developers mm -hmm. or in artificial intelligence. A very interesting case of a, a young man who was selling airtime in the streets of uh, Kisumu, mm -hmm. saw the advert and, you know, Came to came to our office and asked if he could play the game because he didn't have um, a laptop or a smartphone, and he was able to play the game and made it through the four weeks interview process. And now he's one of our staff. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Now, if someone wants to extend, mm. maybe the five years, they say, okay, after the five years, I don't mm. have anywhere else mm. I'm going. I want to extend mm. and 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 remain yeah. within the mm -hmm. within the company. Um, how does it work? And do you? find cases like that? 
Well, that, it's a contract, and um, like any contract, you're allowed to extend. Mm -hmm. So yes, that's that's we are open to that conversation. You can come and tell us. Um, I enjoy working here. I want to extend. Yes, we will. Mm -hmm. you, you, you can extend. Right. And during also the interview, mm. uh, the four weeks interview, mm. do you usually have people who qualify, but uh, maybe they say, okay, I need to first hold. Um, the position, you hold for me the position, I first of all do something that I was doing and then come back. What, what is the process between the interview and joining? So like any job interview, the, at the point where you're doing the interview, you've almost made up your mind that you want to work for this company. So we've, we've never had a case of someone who, who wants us to hold the position for later because the positions are also very competitive. Uh, like I said, the, the success rate is 5%. So we'll have you know, people fighting for these positions. And uh, the interview process is not where we, we t I talk to you and uh, see if you, you can make it. But you have projects that you're working on. There are you know, milestones that you have to achieve. So really, for people who've gone through the very vigorous four weeks interview, I think for them to stay till the end, they don't want to, they, they, they're ready to quit their jobs and really okay. focus on this, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, and now, even as we are now coming to a close, especially mm. of this conversation, uh, when you look at the employment space mm. and the young people and um, the tech, uh, the tech space also coming in to bring in new innovations, new uh, employment opportunities, mm -hmm. uh, where we are as a country going forward, uh, is Zone 1 going to be a contributor to a new um, form of employment among the youth? Yes, definitely. We are creating 100 jobs every year. Mm -hmm. 100 jobs every year, and these are not just, um, you know, these are decent, well-paying jobs. You're paid the standard rate of a software developer uh, across, the, across the world. And because uh, for us, uh, our goal is that the, once you get you start working on the projects you're working on the project you're working for projects for companies that are across the globe not just in Ke in Kenya we want to develop Kenya but also have uh, a world view so every year for say the next 10 years we'll be producing software developers mm -hmm. yes okay finally yes you, um, as Dorcas, um, interested in technology. Mm. Why technology? Um, I mean, uh, because I believe someone would be out there asking, okay, why did she decide to do, techn to do technology? What is it that um, motivated you to do, to do this? I think for me, technology, like I said, it's the, it holds a very uh, big promise on development and mm. innovation. Uh, from a very early age, when young age, when I was starting out, I was very keen on solving problems. And uh, with that so much experience, I was able to find resources. And technology, it's in, in tech, it's so easy to find resources, even on YouTube. And I was re able to upskill myself through different resources, uh, tutorials that I saw. Mm -hmm. And um, had startups and applications that, you know, uh, were solving different issues. And so for me, this is not, it's not far-fetched. It's really close, and it's some, something that I, I really encourage most young people to, to you know, um, explore. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Thank you so much for joining us on Business Today and sharing with us your story and uh, just making sure that we know about Zone 1 in Kisumu. All right. There you have it. We're going to, f to go for a short break. But remember, when we come back, earlier on, when we